Hey everybody, welcome back to the Greens Experience. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, it's been a long time. We shouldn't have left you without an episode to see. Wait, what's the word? I don't know, but yeah, it's been a that. long time. <laughs> yes. Um, in today's episode, we're going to bring you fully up to speed. Yes. All right. We had a lot of progress, a lot of things, moving parts that we couldn't film episodes. Yes. We couldn't make it all clean cut one, two, three, four yeah. episodes just because things have been going on. But in this episode, you'll see why. Yes. Um, um, we did manage to capture all of the things, well, most of the things that we were going through in this transitional time, mm-hmm. including at the end of this episode, we will bring you all the way up to speed with the blue tape. Yes. Blue so, tape, so we missed you all. We yeah. hope you missed our episodes and missed hearing from us and getting updates. Um, again, thank you for all those who've been checking in right. and following Watching the shorts because we yeah, have been shorts. doing some updates mm-hmm. on the shorts. So, yeah. Yes. So don't forget to subscribe and make sure that you also comment and like and share um, not only on Instagram, but also YouTube as well. Right. So you don't miss anything. We're right here, light at the end of the tunnel. We're at the finish line. So we want you to be a part of that. So make sure you turn on your notifications so you do not miss a beat. All right. So now we're going to get you into this episode or, yeah, into the episode. So right after the intro, we'll be right back. All right. Here we go in the updates. Um, part of what we've been dealing with was moving. Yes. So throughout this process, we had elected to um, downsize into an apartment. So we went the apartment route for the time being during the build and to um, save and kind of be able to what? Um, I think more than anything, it was just to, um, well, let's backtrack. So as some of you may be aware, our, the market or the housing market, I should say, has been, um, up and down. And so we were able to take full advantage of the hot market. So we sold our home. Um, which was very smart on our part because right. we were able to um, do well with that. And then we decided to rent um, while our home, like Pierre just said, while our home was being built. And so um, that has been um, just part of our journey. And right. so now that time has come to an end. Right. And we, so and here we're just kind so of we are just showing our process <laughs> of packing and kind of bringing you guys up to into, speed up mm-hmm. to speed and into like our process part of the reason why we haven't been putting out as much content is because we've been doing things like this yes life has been life it okay right. we, yeah for sure <laughs> so for those who may be asking okay so the house is not ready and you moved out your apartment what are you doing so what we're doing now is we are going to finish off our last few months here in California yep. by um, staying with my mommy. So yep. we are staying with her, which has been great thus yep. far. And um, so, yeah. So, yeah, this is just kind of just I thought it would be a fun idea to kind of share some of the process. Asia and I just packing some stuff up, getting up out of there. Um, and honestly, um, this is one of those things that you can decide to do or you could not decide to do, I guess. Um, uh, we just chose to go this route because it made sense for us. And, um, um, you know, it was it was a good part of the process because this was our first time actually being in an apartment. Yes, since we, <laughs> yeah, we've never so, stayed in an apartment since right. we've been married. So and, um, having this experience in the middle of our our ownership journey was kind of, um, I don't want to say humbling, but it definitely gives you an appreciation for what you're, um, what you're building on and what you have in store. Um, losing space, downsizing, um, 
was something to deal with as far as we have two kids. You know, yes. And then we're all kind of <laughs> in one spot on top of each other. Um, but it's for the, for the end goal, which is to, yes. to get our home. So it was, it was definitely a plan and it was definitely um, something that we discussed as a way to remedy um, our housing you know, situation until we got the house finished. Um, yeah. And this right here is our storage. Um, part of our journey was packing all of our stuff in the storage. Um, and this is important because it just kind of shows the part of the process that goes unseen. This is the background stuff, packing, unpacking. If you're building a house in a whole nother state, this is something that you may have to do. So this is something that you might consider uh, or you want to consider when making your decision. For us, um, it made sense um, in the grand scheme of things. We did use some of our stuff in the apartment and then we also did have the opportunity to after um, unpacking the apartment or moving out of the apartment to get rid of some things that we didn't want to bring to the new house anyway. So um, a consolidation period or uh, a removal of some things um, was a part of the process as well. That's my baby being all strong. Because <laughs> I surely was just sitting up here like, wait a minute, this video was just showing you doing something. Like, I'm standing around. <laughs> Look, I was doing she something. She was supervising. No, I was lifting boxes. Yeah. I helped. Yes, yeah, I she did. Was pointing, pointing and uh, letting me know where to put the stuff. <laughs> no, I was helping. <laughs> no, so yeah, you, you can't really see her though. She's actually going consolidating. Through. Yes, yeah. I'm consolidating, going through, trying to figure out what to keep and not to keep. Right. Um, Which is something yes. that we definitely... Um, thought was good to do now so that when the move date comes it's less stuff for us to actually go through and get rid of or try to figure out whether we're going to keep it or not because um, whether we go with a mover or whether we move on our own which um, I think now we pretty much decided we're going with the mover yeah um, so <laughs> but it's best to have that stuff done so you're not eating into their time and when you're dealing with a mover based on what we've been um, experiencing as or through quotes and um, getting information on the process of moving, they like to have it ready to go. Yes, yeah. and so we definitely did donate quite a bit. Yes, we did. Um, to some of the local charities and things. Yeah. So, so but yeah. yeah, so we just want you to, um, this is part of our transparency. So right. we want to take you along on just kind of what our process has been right, like and right. what, yeah. I mean, the journey has had its twists and turns, and this is a part of um, expressing some of the things that that we dealt with or that we we have been dealing with um, in the way of preparing for the actual move date. Um, our, our deadline has been moved around so many different times that as part of the scenario, we had to repack some stuff because um, we thought that we might have been just moving straight out. Um, so now as we moving forward, you see, we're going to the property updates. Yes. So, so the last time we did an update, we did not have a driveway. No, we did not. <laughs> we didn't have a driveway. I think we left with saying that there was an issue with our neighbor and their, their darn cable wire. Their cable wire was running, right. was ran, I should say, across our driveway. So they had to kind of get that resolved. And right. so they were finally able to, yeah. To our driveway. Or, so, or. for those of you have, who have been following throughout the progress of the channel, this is what our driveway looks like um, or wound up pouring out to be. Um, it was hard to tell when we just had it, they just had it laid out in rebar. But I want to tell you from being there live that the driveway is awesome. Yes, it's long. <laughs> In my opinion, that slab right there, that is the landing for our AC unit. So, of course, we have AC. This slab right here, this is the landing for our backyard patio extension that we did. Um, we're going to add a, a retractable awning to it um, so that it could be covered whenever we need it to be covered, but we don't cover the windows. Yes, correct. Right, so we want to be able to have that natural light coming in. And when you build, when they build the builder grade, I don't know what they were thinking, but it covers your whole entire window. 
the yes. builder grade mm-hmm. um, uh, coverings. They, but it's nice. Don't get me wrong, but you have no natural light unless the sun is, you know, setting on the back of your property and it's low setting. Yeah, you you won't have your natural light. So we chose to, um, for several reasons or for a few reasons, to not have them do it and to just do the retractable awning uh, option. Yes. So uh, let's see what we got. So this is the driveway after it was finished. Um, and as you can see, dry now, it, it's more defined. Um, a nice size. Yeah, a nice, nice size. Large. And right then away. in this, in this, yeah, in these, in this picture here, um, we're still like, they're still trying to get the defined outdoor spaces together. So um, this was grading of the backyard and that front, that other picture prior was of the front yard. Um, some grading that took place as well. That's just flattening it out, prepping it for um, the grass that they're going to um, put in. So, um, which I was happy about because I was like, goodness, our backyard is nice. Uh, yes. So. Um, oh, this this is the front yard. Further, yeah. I'm just showing you that the front yard was graded. You can also see that we have our sidewalk there um, because before the <laughs> previous episode or update episode we didn't have our sidewalk yet because they couldn't pour the driveway well they couldn't pour the sidewalk without doing the driveway they did it all at one time and they were waiting for that darn cable to be removed well <laughs> move not removed because it's still yeah. there yeah, it's still there but they moved it out the way yes uh, for the time being at least so they can pour our driveway and get this underway so um, yeah we got um this is another a side picture. view. Side view. Over home. Um, and at this point, you can see our AC unit is installed. So we got a dual um, dual AC and heating. So upper and lower level. Yes. So split. Yeah. Split level. Um, um, HVAC system. Yeah. Which was, you know, nice to see that um, that they were flowing. You know, when we got to this point, it was kind of like, man, you know. What's going on? I remember during this particular time, uh, probably roughly a month ago, we it kind of slowed down. The updates kind of slowed down. So it was like we were trying to put an episode together, but an update would come in, and then there would be, you know, something to slow it progress down, and then another update would go in. So it was like kind of double dutching back and forth. Um, so here's a picture of our um, air conditioning units. Yeah, as you can see, we're proud of that. <laughs> yeah, so we have some plans. Um, yeah. To um, encase our units, yeah. um, which I think will be um, a nice addition to the outside of our home. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's a difference um, between California and Texas, of course. Um, usually in California, you have your AC unit towards the back of your home or at least behind your fence line. But out here, most of the AC units are exposed to the street. So it's kind of different for us coming from the Bay Area where you normally don't have. So here we go. Now we're getting to some of the more- Some of our landscape. Yeah, latest yes. updates yes. Um, within the last few weeks. So they graded everything and then they started to get the landscaping done, which was awesome. We, once we got here, we were like, okay, now, now they doing something. Yeah. Because it was like, why don't you start? You got it graded already, but these are our trees. Yes, we have two trees. We have two trees in the that front. That are in the front of the house. All right. So when they when they sent these pictures, I was like, okay, all right. Now, now we got some motion. So yes. trees, shrubs, and um, was that bark? Yeah. Or mulch, mulch. yeah, they call it mulch. mulch. And then, um, so that's a picture of the two trees, yeah. And they're still at this point, you see those rocks there. They had to move a lot of rocks from around our yard. Our yard, our um, foundation is set on an area where it was um, a lot of slate and a lot of rocks, slate rocks under, which I liked because it's a sturdier pad for the um. For the foundation to be poured, and we have obviously carpet. we got carpet. <laughs> yes. Um, the last episode, the last episode where we showed the update, I don't think we had carpet. 
I don't know we didn't have. No, we didn't. And actually, the picture doesn't really do it justice because right. when I look at the picture, I feel like it has more of a brown undertone. Yeah. But our carpets are on the gray side. Grayish. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's more gray than it is brown. So it's like a gray brown mix, but um, gray is definitely the dominant color. Yeah. yeah. So we have carpets and we decided to. All of the bathrooms are carpeted. What you're looking at now is a picture of... Bathroom? Uh, did I say bathroom? Yeah. <laughs> we ain't Sorry. Got no in the bathroom. <laughs> Our bedrooms. Um, all of the bedrooms. All yeah. the bedrooms are carpeted. But what you're looking at is... Is this... This our, is the... Is this our room? Is that the carpeted room? No, that's the family room. In the, no. Oh, this is our room. room. Yeah. This so is the So all of the bedrooms are carpeted. Um, the upstairs, for the most part, is carpeted everywhere besides the wet areas. And then downstairs is a mix between carpet and our um, flooring. Yeah. This is a picture of the, the media, media room. room. Yep. So the two-step, or well, I should say the one-step, but yeah, the six-inch step that we have in the six media inch room. Step, yeah. yeah so, so we can have our theater-style seating. Yes. Yeah. Have our, theater um, our carpet is plush. It is. It is nice. You it step is into nice. it, your foot go down into it a little bit. If you're laying on it, it feel good. I like it. Yeah, yeah. I think we yeah. did well with um, picking the right carpet right. and then also the right padding for underneath. So yeah, we upgraded the pad. We didn't, but it's. I but it came it with an upgrade. Yes, it did. Yeah. Now this area is our dining room and living room, and so on this picture you can't see our floors. But after looking at it, I was like, why did I not run the floors into this area? So right now it's carpeted. Yeah. Eventually we will probably uh, more than likely pull up the carpet in yeah. the living room and dining room and have our, what we have is vinyl plank yeah. throughout. So we'll have the vinyl plank added. So now we're gonna talk about some of the mistakes that were made throughout the last term so da, 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 our cooktop so this cooktop that they installed here is not the one that right. we are supposed to have we our appliances are frigidaire they tried to do a we, 90, 95 fake on us or something. yeah they you know did I, mean? I think so but anyways we're so we upgraded to the gallery this is what we're that's supposed what we're to supposed have. to have <laughs> so we updated to the um gallery collection which is the premium collection yeah. um if you haven't been following along and aren't aware, we are building in a electric only community, right. um, which will take some getting used to for us because I personally prefer gas. But um, and so this is the cooktop we're supposed to have. Right. So well, you can tell by the knobs that this one is yes, significantly is definitely different than the ornate. one they installed. So to um, so basically in a nutshell, they will be changing out our cooktop. Yeah. To the one that to the we, one that we paid for. Yes, the one that you see pictured here. So that's a good thing. Now, this is, this is um, an example of what I. This lack of lack of detail. Yes, of, talk about with lack of alignment, craftsmanship. There right. is no way. Like if you look at that grout line running down the middle, right. Pierre and I both agree and feel like the shower head should be aligned with that grout line. However, yeah. the shower head and the knobs were aligned with the center of the tub. The tub. Or so the tub spout, I guess I should they say. They could have remedied, remedied this by doing um, a cut, placing the cut in the center. It would have, they would have had to burn through some towel, but it would have looked right. This right here is the niche. Yes, the niche. This and is so, a picture to show you that we have a niche in one bathroom. So they have the to, bathroom, yes, they forgot it. So they have to tear out when, some when of the When she say they forgot it, explain what they did. So basically what they did, they had to cut out for the niche um, yes. and they tiled over it. Yeah. So <laughs> therefore, I'm like, what? So anyways, but we paid for it. They so must guess have had what? the B squad out there that day. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to tear it out and redo it. So. We feel like if you're going to tear out some tile to put the niche in, you might as well tear out the tile so and center yeah. the shower head. Right, right. So that has been an ongoing battle. And so needless to say, we lost that battle. Yep. They're good. They're going to do the niche, but the shower head will remain the same the way it is. Um, I don't they, know. Well, we didn't lose, but we definitely had to compromise. 
they threw in some other things, concessions. Basically, they just didn't want to tear out that whole yeah. wall of towels. So they offered us something else. Yeah. And, and we, we wanted. And maybe perhaps we should have pressed the issue more. And, you know, I mean, because at the end of the day, it's. Yeah. It needs to be done. It needs right. to be fixed. Right. So I don't know. We'll but, see. I mean, um, I, you know, overall, I, I mean, is it an eyesore to us? Yes. Um, but we're, we're going to get in there and see. Yes. So. So that's an example of craftsmanship. Now we're going on to the blue tape. Yes. That clip will be coming right up. So as you know, as we noted, yes. um, we're talking about the blue tape. Mm -hmm. The blue tape meeting is when we come together with uh, the builder, well, the building manager who yes. pops in and out during the meeting, as well as a um, quality control consultant mm -hmm. from our the. Um, the builder of our, yeah. our home. So they sent out a quality control consultant. He goes over everything from the electrical, the plumbing. We walk through the house. He tells us about all of our appliances, um, everything. Yeah. Our, so our, our he explained system. alarm system. Well, yeah. somewhat of the alarm system, yeah. but like how the sprinkler system is set up, yeah. um, all of the important things we need to note and yeah. be aware of in um more or less just, you know, making running sure our home efficiently. Yeah, making yeah. sure everything is functioning as well. The water is getting hot. The AC is turning on. Yes. Um, any any upgraded options that we would have chose to make sure that they're in there, um, they're up to quality that we expect. And if not, then we tag it. Yes. Right. And um, most importantly, um, just making sure that the house that we will soon enough receive mm -hmm. is in the manner in which we um, expect it to be so right. yes right so i mean some of the ways that we prepare for this was just communication back and forth with um the team that we have on the ground the sales rep our um realtor and uh, other people that we have support the building the manager construction manager yeah, behind yes. the scenes people that we also have that are going by to get um photos and different things to make sure when we're not in town we're still kind of up to date with what's going on. Yes. Um, so that was some ways that we prepared. Kind of different for us because we're not in town. Um, and then also kind of thinking about, you know, some of the things that that we didn't get pictures of or that we were kind of like, okay, this is something that we may want to pay attention to because of even other people's um uh, experiences. So. Yes, so we did watch a few YouTube videos mm -hmm. of people who were able to share right. um, their experience and kind of what to anticipate with yeah. your blue tape walkthrough or some people references as, as the blue tape walkthrough or your yeah. first walkthrough. Um, it's also important to note that every builder is different. Correct. So our builder did not allow us to be able to take pictures or record right. during the blue tape, which, right. you know, in hindsight, I can understand why that would be the case because right. they want you to be focused. I right. mean, they're not trying to be there all day, but at the same time, the level yeah. of detail that you have to pay attention to to make but sure you, know you don't your miss boy anything. snuck a few pictures in. Yeah, you so we did sneak <laughs> a few in, yeah. but, um, but more than anything, it's just making sure that you are attentive and paying yeah. attention and checking out your home, looking at everything. You want to make sure you cover all of the bases. Yeah. Um, it's also important to note that we decided to hire a third-party inspector. Correct. That's so way, yeah. we did have an outside company that we um, hired mm -hmm. to come in. Um, and so the day before our blue tape walk, Right. Yeah, the day before. Yeah, yeah. Um, two days before, no, two actually. Days, two yeah. days before, two days, yeah. um, our inspector came in. And so, literally, he checked out our home from top to bottom, yeah. uh, provided a very detailed um, report right. within hours mm -hmm. to not only us, but as well as the builder. Um, yeah. So, they have a list of items that need to be repaired. And he went from top to bottom. Yes. So, anywhere from the foundation mm -hmm. up to the roof, found discrepancies put it in a report and we got took that pictures. Report. Right, took pictures mm -hmm. and we got that report to our sales manager rep who got it to the building manager and they were able to kind of get ahead of some of the things before we even came to do the Yes, protect. yes, within so two days. It was beneficial two days, for Some everybody. of the stuff was corrected, yes. And yeah. so since we're talking about the third party inspectors, okay. I mean, it's important for us to kind of touch on that. Um, some people say, well, you know, 
it's a new home. You don't need to right. hire or have your home inspected. Don't do no, it. No, you do. <laughs> you do. do. It's it. worth no. every single penny right. because there are things that we would not have been aware of. Mm-hmm. Um, there's no way we would have known. I right. mean, our inspector walked the roof, climbed the roof, walked the yeah. roof. Um, they used a, what was it called? A Infrared. Thre- infrared yeah. to look within our walls to check the insulation. Right. Um, so it was like a like a light temperature gauge that they shoot into the wall to make sure yes. they're, they're getting so, temperature readings. Yet. Yeah, it was important. So I mean, I we've come, I should say, across several videos or people who felt like you know it wasn't necessary. But right. personally, for us, we it are it was a must, and we are yeah. excited that we did yeah. um, move forward with hiring the an inspector to yeah. come in and check our home out, um, and then. Depending on what your needs are, there's various options with different packages you can decide to get. So like for us, with our package, we did pay a little more in order to have two inspections done. So we had our first one done prior to our blue tape walk. And then our second one will be done 11 months. Well, we got into 11 months. Yes, 11 months. So that helps us with... The term of our um, warranty. Our warranty. Mm-hmm. So before so the end come of our out, warranty, yeah. we'll have them come out again and do another walk of the property. Um, after our house is settling for almost a year, it's a good opportunity to get somebody in there mm-hmm. to check and make sure that everything is in still in good working order yes. or that there's nothing that major needs to be um you know, check the address. address. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. um, it's important to pay attention to those things for us. Yeah. You know, we wanted to make sure that we are able to take full advantage of mm-hmm. the home warranty. So right. that is the option option, excuse me, that we chose right. is to do the two inspections. Right. Um, so that will happen at 11 months, yeah. but, um, overall, as far as the blue tape walk, um, it's literally, Blue tape. Yes, that you painter's stick tape. Mm-hmm. On every stick, discrepancy yeah. that you may have. Uh, paint splotches, home. paint drops on the uh, the carpet, carpet, the floors, floor, uh, flooring, countertops, um, nicks in your uh, drywall or paint, um, paint or dry, I mean, drywall that hasn't been textured, mm-hmm. right? Um, or even areas that have been right, textured right, um, that right. need to be retextured. Right, I mean, right. as you can imagine that in building a semi-custom home, they actually, to me personally, if yeah. I give my opinion, I feel like some of the things they do in a home is premature. Yeah. So I feel like a lot of the construction and installation, installation should take place um, prior to laying down floors or yeah. doing the, you know, they installing jump around. carpet. They jump yeah, around they jump again. around. Based on, Excuse which me. I get, they jump yeah. around based on availability. So right. if the Whenever carpet comes the in before, in. yeah. So right. if the carpet comes in before something else comes in, they'll go ahead and install that. Right. But then it like creates, it. they have double to double work. 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 Yes, they have to double work. Right. So they painted our whole home yeah. before they finish installing um some of the options and things within our homes um, and stuff. So now they have to come in and repaint our whole home, um, retexture. It makes kind of sense. Our home. But then when you're doing touch up, like uh, it just depends. It really depends. Cause like, I understand if they're painting the house before the floors get in, because then they have to clean the floors. Mm -hmm. But then if you haven't, like if you're doing texture and then you need to do paint, then it's like, well, you might as well do both. But then sometimes you have to do touch up. So it just depends. Mm-hmm. Like if you have a, um, if they have an area where they need to replace uh, the drywall or sheetrock or whatever, then you still have to deal with painting in that area. So, um, you know, and then with the trades bouncing around, sometimes you might get the plumbers in and do something, and they might um, not be able to do finish what they have to do because they got to paint behind the toilets before they put the toilets in. So then you might have to move to a different area. So it's just, you know, it's it's. It's definitely one of the reasons why you have blue tape because things go unnoticed, unseen, yeah. and then you come in there and you and you do what you do is what you make sure that you go room by room, right? Yes. Yeah, so we went room by room, but most importantly, the um, quality control person that we had, yeah, he, was good. Um, he was very good. His yeah. level of detail was mm-hmm. um, really good. So he was taping before we. Yes. So he arrived before our even our appointment, right. and started um, 
already doing preliminary uh, walkthroughs. Walk yes. So he was able to already tag things prior to. Um, and so really it's just an opportunity for um, the quality control person mm -hmm. who is working for the builder, the company, to yeah. pretty much present your home to you. Right. So he walked us through the warranty, how the home warranty worked, right. um, all of the options, all mm -hmm. of the important numbers and contacts that we need yeah. to know. Um, basically, like if you have issues with every single part from anything de dealing with plumbing, electrical, mm -hmm. um, appliances, yeah. um, paint, I mean, anything mm -hmm. pertaining to our home, he walked us through, here's the contact person for all this, right. this is how long you have. Um, as far as the warranty, this is what's covered. This is what's not covered. So detail, um, mm -hmm. just walk through us. Detail, right. orientation, basically. Right. It's basically a new home orientation. Right. That's the best way to right. describe it. And so he is, like literally walked us through from A to Z of how our home operates. And so we were able to start. We start off on the first level, first level. Um, the kitchen area. Right. He lit, um, you know, from making sure the microwave worked, um, turning on the ovens. We have double ovens, so making yeah. sure that the ovens worked, walking through the sink, the garbage disposals, mm -hmm. um, dishwasher was running while we were doing yeah. our um, blue tape walk so he could make sure everything functioned well with that. Now, mind you, we had an inspection done, mm -hmm. and so the inspector did the same thing, but yeah. it's you know it doesn't hurt to it have never, two It people. never hurts. And then yes. they were actually coming in behind our inspector to do simple things like mm -hmm. finishing off the disposal, I mean, the drain, uh, what is it, the di the disposal? Not the disposal, the thing in the sink. What the garbage disposal. The garbage, yeah, garbage yeah, disposal. Garbage disposal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they didn't install, in, the, didn't install the wiring until earlier today mm -hmm. because we were there yesterday. We did a preliminary walk too. Um, so, you know, even though our inspector was there, he didn't get to inspect whether it worked correctly or not because the wiring wasn't. So he noted that so that when we come in, we can say, hey, hey, it's not wired yet. You know what's going on. Yeah. And then go take it from there. So, um, and you know, we, we did from the inside out. So we went from the inside, like she said. Um, we went room by room. Room by room. room first by level room. first, second level, up the stairs, backyard, check the sprinklers. Um, outlets. Outlets, yeah. Mm -hmm. Surprisingly enough, they didn't have our gutters up yet. We didn't know whether we got gutters or not because a lot of the stuff with this particular builder is a la carte. So um, we were going to ask the question about the gutters. But when we got there, they were putting the gutters up. So the our inspector didn't get to inspect the gutter, gutters, but the uh, consultant was actually able to take notes and inspect the gutter and make sure that things were being done and even notated that they missed a few um, areas, but they mm -hmm. ran out of materials at the time. So yeah. they had to come back out and finish it. So, yeah. um, all of our windows were checked. I yeah. mean, he literally, yeah. every window was opened. Um, and the way our windows are actually open, they kind of open out yeah. and so. So, anyways, yeah. he checked they all was that. Cleaning yeah. instructions on yeah. how to open them so we can clean the outside because the screens are removable. But if you remove them, you damage them in a way to where you have to replace them with a new one. Yes. So, so um, some of the things. Yeah. yeah. So let's get into some of the things that we actually did tag. Yes. So we what we did tag um, primarily was issues with texture. So things yeah. that need to be retextured. Mm -hmm. um, paint. Yeah, um, paint paint touch-ups. Yeah. yeah. Um, different paint chips and, and stuff like that. Yeah. So on the walls. Yeah. Um, any spots. Some of the um, walls have spots on them from yeah, smudges, smudges, things like that. Little dings and mm -hmm. nicks from them bringing so, in. Yes, yeah, so that was them. tagged. Um, we also tagged some areas on the floor. The caulking that areas. Caulking areas, things, yeah. places that need to be caulked. Yeah. Um, anything mm -hmm. that was dirty, yeah. we tagged that as well yeah. um, so they can address those areas. And I want to know too, usually blue tape is really for like this stuff that we're talking about now. Um, any like um, touch up paints and everything, but they do also go over major things through the walkthrough. Um, and because we had the third party inspection, mm -hmm. those things, major things were addressed in that, that inspection so that they understand that we expect those things to be done um, before they finally deliver the keys. Yes, yes. Yeah. So we were able to, yeah, so really essentially that's kind of what 
some of the major things that we tagged um, in regards to any major fixes. I don't think there was anything that was um, major um, that no. needed to be fixed. Um, some of the things everything that was minor. Really. Yeah. I mean, major stuff was already addressed um, in the third party inspection uh, yeah. report. So blue tape major. Um, it was just reiterating, look, there's some things in the, um, the third party inspection, the builder, uh, building manager, he already knew what those things were. So it really was just the minor imperfections, paint touch ups, you know, minor nicks, dings, scratches. Um, mm -hmm. Our stairs have um, ballast, ballast, that's what you call it? Banisters. Well, the, the, the rod iron. Oh, you're talking about yeah. the um, landing? You talk about the landing? No, I'm talking about the bat, the little the, the rails. Yeah, the, the rails. rails? Okay, yeah. So Sorry, some of those were, um, they were installed, but they were loose. So yeah, so they were. They had to come back yeah. in and epoxy those to make sure they're they're nice and tight. Mm -hmm. um, so different things like that. I mean, you, you go through everything, um, and you you try to find everything you can, which is the purpose of tagging it with blue tape, because when you leave, these are the things that they're going to address. And, and when you come back to do your yeah. final walk and get your keys, they're going to say, hey, we fixed everything you tagged. And yeah. uh, so here were your keys and cut the check. <laughs> so what we did was, yeah. um, and surprisingly enough, there were certain areas that I guess our house has already started to settle a little bit. Yeah. Well, Excuse me. So there were some cracks, yeah, yeah superficial cracks, things like that, yeah, which um, is normal. To are starting to appear. Yeah, yeah, we've learned that are yeah. um, normal out here in Texas. But so some of those areas. Yeah. Let's see what else. Um, but we address that, and they're going to reseal it. So I yeah, mean, that's the best so that they can be do. Done. Um, our fence. Yeah. Again, they still have not done that correctly. Right. We paid for it to be extended yeah. a certain uh, um, length, and so right. they need to fix the fence, right. um, roofing. Um, there was the some, roofing. there was yeah, some loose shingles, loose and some shingles, shingles and things that like that. Had yeah. come up due to um, a windstorm that they had mm -hmm. out here, so they're going to address that. They have their own roof inspection. Um, the building, our manager. builder. So yeah. every builder is different, but right. our builder has a roofing company right. that comes in and walks our roof right. prior to yeah. us closing. So all of the loose shingles and things will, will be, addressed. be addressed. But we also had that addressed in our third party inspection. Mm -hmm. So. That's in a report through him. They're going to do their own report, and we talked about it today. So yeah. that's you know three layers of um, communication so mm -hmm. they can get it done. So now bringing it back to the warranty. So make sure that you pay attention to what falls under warranty mm -hmm. and the warranty time frames. Right. So there are certain things that you only have like 12 months. you have twelve months to um, two years. some things are two years. Yeah. Um, some things you can, like, you have to maintain, like, for mm -hmm. instance, we were not aware that our air filters have yeah. to be changed. Like every three months, I think he said. No, he said least. monthly. He For said, the first certain term, though. Yeah, like, yeah. they have to be changed monthly. We have to have our heating and air checked, um, right. twice a year. That's what, okay, yeah. We have to have our e the heating and check. Avoid the warranty. Or it avoid the warranty. Yeah. So things like that you have to pay attention to. Um, for instance, we're going, if you go through Home Pro, which mm -hmm. we did, there are certain things that Home Pro you get free mm -hmm. as far as installations. Like, for example, we have a media room. Yeah. So we have a lot of pre-wire um, that we had installed right. for our media system and we also have surround sound through our home right. so we have pre-wired for that right. and on the patio however home pro only gives you one free installation right. so it was recommended to us by the quality assurance person that yeah. we get all of the components so all if we're our equipment our first, equipment first so if call them out yes to install them. so if we're not going through home pro to buy it through them like say for instance we go to like a best buy or something right. Right. we need to make sure we have everything um, that we want to right. have installed all at once right. so we don't have to pay for them to come yeah. back. So it's just certain things like that you want right. to pay attention to um, that's important. I mean, mm -hmm. that can save you money in the long run. Right. So right. it was very informative in that manner. Um, overall, again, we are excited mm -hmm. with, um, for the most part, how things have turned out. Um, yeah, there are some things that yeah. We would have liked to have right. changed. <laughs> um, we tried to, as we alluded to, we tried. Yeah, to get we tried them to get them to in, in the bathroom yeah. and kind of the the 
whatever. We're not going to go there because they made some it's just going to get me. Though, that yeah. kind of tried to, so, they tried to make it right in other areas. And we ain't going to really tell y'all about that because. No, I mean, it's just one of those things where we don't have well, to tell no, them. But they're going to see it. Yeah, they'll see the, it. In but the, the, the empty home tour. Yes, but it's it just, you know, you know, it's just, it's your home. So right. you have, you envision in your mind how you want everything. And I know for me, I can be very anal when it comes to um things alignment yeah. i like things straight yeah. so when something is off center it kind of bothers me right it's supposed to look right yes you know so mean? there you know so there's some things i will say this that um craftsmanship is important right and um right. you know you i understand things will not be perfect right. however there are some craftsmanship things that could have been better right um, as far as the way things were installed in our home. Um, so Luckily you know, enough for us, though, like the that. areas primarily um, where those things were like small issues or issues, um, like in the primary um, suite, I'm, I'm thinking you're talking about the floor tile in, there, in the tub, in the shower. Well, yeah. I but mean, it's gonna just be, like, We're going to redo that. So yeah. in the long run, I mean, yeah, we're going to redo it, but they could have paid attention to it better yeah like yeah. i just feel like a line is a line a straight line is a straight line right. so if you're installing tile yeah it needs to be straight like right. your grout lines need to be straight right and i don't understand why some areas are not straight like right. to me i just you know so things yeah. like that is what i'm referencing like you know yeah like installation <laughs> of tile and right. and yeah I, needless to say um Craftsmanship, <laughs> there are some things that um, I would say that our builder lacked as far as when yeah. it comes to craftsmanship, the areas of improvement. Well, attention to detail, I think, would is have been, more... It's needed. Is That's more what better. I'll say. Not Because the craftsmanship was... And I said more better, but... <laughs> um, craftsmanship was there, but the intention to detail was not. So... Um, no, well, yes, yeah. but I'm they still gonna together. stand on the craftsmanship okay. could have been well, better. Craftsmanship, um, <laughs> yes, but you know what? We're not gonna get into that because yeah. in the end, we will do a follow up video right. of how of overall rating our experience right, and right. the do's and don'ts and right. what we would do differently right. the next time. Yeah. So we're not gonna get into that. We'll share with you um, more at a later time in a le another video of kind of our overall feeling of this right. whole process. This right. has been a very lengthy process and right. challenging to right. say the least, simply you definitely because learned some things. Yes, we're yeah. building um two thousand miles away from right. where we're currently living. Right. So in California. So that's challenging in and of itself. So yeah. that video will be coming and <laughs> um that so, is meant stay to be tuned. yes, very informative, <laughs> yeah. but transparent and honest. Yeah. So we will give that. But let's get those keys first before we right. go there. Right. We want to make sure we get those keys. And then on top of that, though, at the end of the day, um, with some of the the things that we're discussing now, we're still happy with what we got or what we have. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, I mean, yes. No, I think our home is has turned yeah. out beautiful, yeah. and we are excited to get in there and just really turn our house to a home i should say right. so right. um we're excited to do that right. but yeah so yeah. overall blue tape was good it yeah. lasted roughly about three hours yeah, and, three and um, hours, about yeah. three three and a half hours yeah. i did i will say this that um what i did was um pierre had another um something to do the day before so yesterday right. Um, he had something to, well, I shouldn't say yesterday because I don't know when this video is going to be right. posted. But well, the, day before, the day before our Blue Tape walkthrough, <laughs> he had an appointment. So while he was at his appointment, I actually went on to the house mm -hmm. and started with a notebook and pen and walking room right. by room and making notes just to be able to make it a little easier mm -hmm. for when we did have the blue the blue tape walkthrough, then I already knew what areas to tag. Mm -hmm. So I did do kind of a preliminary walk, I guess you could say, of mm -hmm. our home. 
um, and just try to kind of make note of those things. So that might be something that might be helpful right. for you to go in and your home you had and start making notes. Eyes too, yes, yes. Right. yes, yes. I had my cousin come over, um, and he helped me, right. you know, go through the home and. He walked with me, I should say, and just point out things because he's built um, a yeah. few semi-custom homes. He's had a few um, new builds, and so he's very familiar with the process and mm -hmm. stuff. So, um, yeah, so that was it. I mean, yeah. in the end, it was positive. Mm -hmm. You know, it was good. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, that's blue tape in so many words, yeah, right? That's um, it. And that, like she said, like we both said, we're happy with what we have, and we're excited about getting the finished product and getting them keys. So. Yes, yes, that's it. That will be the next episode. Yes, so you know what? If you have any questions, yeah. um, feel free to leave them in the comments. Right, right. Yeah. If you're coming up on this process and you want more insight than we've offered, um, yeah, comment, yeah. questions in yes. the comments. Yes, so. We'll get back to you. Mm -hmm. yeah. We will. So. All right. All right, so that's it, Blue Tape. So there you have it. We have officially updated you on where we are in this process of right. building our semi-custom home. Right. Um, we anticipate within the next, hopefully crossing fingers, yes, and sending up many prayers, mm -hmm. <laughs> that um, they will be able to get everything that was tagged with blue tape mm -hmm. fixed. Um, again, minor issues, nothing really major. There are a few things that we were hoping to get changed but as we mentioned in the video um, it yeah. doesn't look like it's going to happen but you know it is what it is overall right. we are excited about how everything in our home has turned out yep. and we are anxiously anticipating receiving our keys mm -hmm. and um, so yes yeah I mean we have we were able to kind of give you an episode mm -hmm. without giving you the final product so yes. Um, everything in the episode is not the current condition as we get it to, but um, we will be finished soon enough and you will get that empty house tour. Yes, so we are very excited to share that with you. Yep. So again, don't forget to like, like share, share, comment, and most importantly, subscribe oh, you know so you, you don't miss a beat. Yes, right. yes, because even after we receive the keys, there are so there's so much more that we That's want to share with you. That's, That's just, just a beginning. That's just a beginning. So make sure that you are following along. So again, you do not miss a beat. Okay? So All until right. next time, be safe and be well. All right. All right. Peace. Peace.